I'm Betsy Miller. It has been a long day. I woke up this morning to someone saying, Mommy, I pooped. <laughs> and I rolled over and said to my husband, Sweetie, we've talked about this. You can't call me Mommy. <laughs> a friend told me the other day, Betsy, I think you have a lot of repressed anger. And I said, Oh, thank you for saying I'm a good mother. <laughs> Oh, my kids are six and three, and they don't look anything like me. They look like their dad. They don't look like me. It's kind of weird when your kids don't look like you. You start to wonder if, you're, if they're really yours. <laughs> I said to my husband, sweetie, our kids don't look like me. Is there something you'd like to tell me? He says, what are you talking about? I said, did you cheat on me? He says, it doesn't work that way. I said, yeah, just answer the question. <laughs> the other day, my son told a joke. You guys want to hear it? Yeah. He goes, why did the chicken cross the road? Because he wanted to get hit by a car and die. <laughs> so he's probably mine. <laughs> he's kind of a little punk. He's just, he keeps running away from us, which would be fine, except people keep bringing him back. <laughs> I've actually started looking at military school, but it turns out I'm too old to go. <laughs> His teachers say, your son's strong-willed, but that's a good thing, because when he's older, he won't give in to peer pressure. But I think, well, but what if his peers are like the good kids? Like, what if his peers are like, hey, let's all go study at the library? And my son's like, eh, how about we go kidnap a chihuahua and paint it purple and snort cocaine off its back? <laughs> That's what, something my kid would do. I can tell already at six. Oh my gosh. Oh, kids are ridiculous. Kids are ridiculous. They, uh, you know what's ridiculous is the shows that they have for kids. I mean, kids love PBS Kids, and they love Daniel Tiger's Neighborhood. And that show just lies to kids, okay? They have these jingles, and my kids learn these jingles, and they sing them to me, and then I have to re-educate them. Because the jingles are like, you can take a turn, and then I'll get it back. I'm like, mm, your sister's going to break it. After all, she's three. <laughs> And there's one that goes, if your friends play with someone new, they will still be friends with you. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you are a middle school girl. Thank you, Holly, you're the worst. <laughs> My favorite one by far, though, is grown-ups always come back. <laughs> I found what whatever you're thinking right now is funnier than my punchline, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna leave it. I'm just gonna leave it. Oh my gosh, children, good grief. My uh, my husband is wonderful. He recently lost a lot of weight, which is amazing. He lost like 45 pounds, and yeah, I know. Uh, thank you, <laughs> thank you. I was the inspiration. Uh, <laughs> He lost 45 pounds, and I was like, wow, honey, that's so great. Good job after he lost the first 10, and then he lost another 10. And I was like, that's amazing. I can't believe your discipline. And then he lost 30, and I started baking more. <laughs> and then his weight dropped below mine, so I shot him. <laughs> I didn't really shoot him. I, I did start dieting, too, though. Um, and it's really, it's made us a lot more compatible because now both of us are hungry and angry all the time. <laughs> but, you know, losing weight doesn't necessarily fix your self-esteem issues, does it? I found. Like, he said to me the other day, Betsy, I feel like I'm gaining it back. And I said, no, honey, you look amazing. You're being ridiculous. And then I said, but I feel like I've kind of plateaued. He says, no, honey, I love your belly. <laughs> and that's when I actually shot him. <laughs> Give it up for your next comic coming up to the stage is Patty Fanchulo. All right. How's everybody doing? Good. Um, we have parents out there? 
Yes, good. Okay, good. I'm talking to the right people. Um, so I have three kids. Um, they are the worst kids you've ever seen in your life. Uh, they're atrocious. Um, I feel like I should have beat them from the get-go. Uh, at this point, I think they'd just be confused, you know? Um, plus, I now know how to dial CPS. Um, side note, anybody here from CPS has nothing to do with what I just said? No? Cool, cool, let's keep it going. Uh, <laughs> um, do you guys cuss in front of your kids? Yes? They're like, she's like, yes, I do. I cuss in front of them. Most people do, most people do. Um, somehow I built this switch uh, that I can turn my cussing on and off. Um, so when I go home, I flip it off and I'm ha, and then I walk out the door and I flip it back on and I'm dropping the F-bomb like left and right. Like people at work are like, whoa, whoa, <laughs> this chick's got a mouth. Um, so I, luckily I built this switch and I did have uh, a mishap one day. I called uh, my fiance on, on, and I called him and I was dropping the F word left and right. And he says, whoa, 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 babe, uh, you're on speakerphone and the kids are in the car. I didn't know what to do, so I just, I hung up. <laughs> um, seems rational. And then he came home a few minutes later and the kids were like, mom, we heard you cussing. Heard you cussing on the phone. I was like, what? That wasn't me. That was, that was not me. They said, well, dad said it was his girlfriend. I was like, well, dad must have another girlfriend. <laughs> he must be cheating on me. I'd much rather have my kids believe that their dad is cheating on me than their mom says bad words. Because I come out on top on that one, like he's the dirt hole, not me. So. <laughs> That's all I care about. Um, so I am engaged. Yeah, thank you. I've uh, been engaged for eight years. It's a long time. She laughed real hard at that. <laughs> it's a long time. Uh, we just want to make sure it's right, you know? We don't want to rush into anything. We don't want to rush, rush into anything crazy, like having kids. That's what we do. Um, so my, my fiance, I begged him to let me get a dog. Um, I was begging him to let me get a dog. Took about two years for him to let me get a dog. Told me I wasn't responsible enough to have a dog, which seems, which seems crazy, right? It seems crazy. I'm raising these kids, <coughs> raising all the neighborhood kids, everybody up and down the block, but can't have a dog. Can't have a dog. Suppose if I like, you know, mess up the kids, they could get therapy. But if I messed up the dog, well, we just have to put it down. <laughs> put it down. <laughs> so apparently, you can't do that with kids. <laughs> can't do that. That's frowned upon. I remember when they were just like dropping them off at the the hospital, like they had that safe haven, and they were just dropping them off left and right, like just dropping these kids off. I don't know anything about it. I didn't try. <laughs> mm. But they stopped. <laughs> they stopped. They said, well, take your babies. That's about it. Um, you guys, uh, like Matt, I am also a, a leader. I'm a Girl Scout leader, right? I know. I get talked into, like, softball coach and basketball coach and volunteer, just, like, sucker written right on my forehead. <laughs> um, I just, the, all these kids, and all these kids want to come over to my house all the time. My kids want to have their friends over all the time. Um, I tell them that they could have their friends over more often if their friends weren't so j judgmental. <laughs> because they are, they're super judgmental. And they come over and they're like, Miss Patty, why is there stuff on your floor? And Miss Patty, why is there beer in your bathroom? And <laughs> Miss Patty's working on her bathroom beer badge, kids. Mind your business, mind your damn business. I can say damn. <laughs> Um, so real quick, when, when you guys were in school, did you guys get a little, uh, baby doll that you had to take care of? Little, no, an egg, maybe? Yeah, we had, we got baby dolls. You had to stick a little key in its back to get it to shut up. It would cry all the time. Um, you had to have it with you, like, all the time. You couldn't just, like, stick it in a closet like you could a real kid. Um, <laughs> have it to actually watch it. Um, I felt like that wasn't super helpful in, in parenting um, classes. I feel like what would be more helpful is like a gauntlet that you have to run, um, like a start to finish, like a start uh, gun would go off like a pume, 
and then you would just get like a bucket of baby puke dumped on your head, like from the start. And then you'd run barefoot over some Shopkins and Legos, and then you'd have to pick lice out of a four-year-old's hair that's down to her butt, and then you'd come, you'd take a car seat cover off and wash it, stick it back on the way it came off, which is impossible. <laughs> and then you come to the end, and there's just like an 18-year-old looking you dead in the face, telling you they hate your guts. <laughs> and if you could complete said gauntlet, like, you could, you could be a teen mom. Like, <laughs> proceed. Like, go on, do it. Well, thank you guys so much for coming out tonight. I want to give a big warm welcome to your next comedian. Everybody give a hand for Can Kendra, Can for Kendra Karbowski. <laughs> Thank you, Pat Tay. <laughs> All right, we'll just leave that in. Feels weird. I feel like I'm doing a rock concert. So I'm so glad to be here. Can't stand my job. I want to quit. I have two employees. They are stressing me out so badly. I would love to just say, that's it. I'm done. And just walk out. Apparently, that's called abandonment since I'm a full-time mom. <laughs> Can't do it. I'm stressed out because I have two boys. Anybody here have boys? Woo! Yeah, boys? Right, okay, they're gross. They're <laughs> disgusting creatures. I'm sorry, men's, you all were gross probably at one point too. Yes, they're nasty. For example, when we were going through potty training, I thought the best way to do this is use something they like. Star Wars, they love Star Wars. They have built-in lightsabers anyway. <laughs> Throw some Cheerios in there. Tell them they're TIE fighters. Stay on target. Stay on target. I'm trying. Do or do not. There is no try. <laughs> you got the one that just lives in the bathroom forever. You're like, come on, let's go. I can't. Use the force. <laughs> gross. They're so gross. So um, let's face it, every part of their body becomes a toy. They got the lightsabers. Then my son saw Ace Ventura. <laughs> he actually got suspended from school for talking with his butt. <laughs> Nonsense, poopy pants. Yes. So they're gross about other things too. So I was doing that whole, you know, can they be on their own? Are they able to be on their own after school? When did you leave your kids home after school? Ever? <laughs> no? Either one of you. You can answer. It's a, a you can uh, you can talk about it. Ten-ish. Ten-ish. Okay. See, I'm not, I'm not illegal, Chuck. See? Um, <laughs> so I told them, don't call me unless it's an emergency. And I left them at home and they were eight, 12, well, legally we'll say 10, 14. And... Uh, <laughs> I got a phone call from my oldest, crying hysterically. Oh no, what is it, dear? Mom, I dropped the chocolate cream pie. Well, that's not an emergency, just clean it up and, you know, but mom, it was the whole pie. Oh my stars, well, don't let the dog get into it. Don't call me again, it's not a real emergency. Two minutes later, my youngest one, Aaron, calls, hey mom, Kevin won't let me have any of the pie. <laughs> are we talking about the same pie that's currently on the kitchen floor? Yeah, parts of it are still good. <laughs> I said, for goodness sakes, will you guys please stop eating off the floor, clean it up, and don't let the dog in it. Oh, she thinks it's good, too. <laughs> Gross. They are so disgusting. I, I really don't know what to do. They get a little better when they get older. They, no, not, that's a lie. <laughs> even now, as they're older, grown up, young men, it's like I don't even want to go in the bathroom after they visited. It's just no. I really wish there was a way that you could like have like a little electrodes around the toilet. Any, any wives here agree with that? <laughs> Amen. Okay. You, you, you miss, it hits you. Yeah. <laughs> little mini toilet taser. <laughs> So um, we were talking about boys, and boys are gross, and um, I'm overwhelmed most of the time with them. Uh, they get in their electronics, and you're like, don't ignore me. Mom, I heard everything you said. And I said, don't ignore me. So it's like, do what I said. So 
I asked them if we could just make some darn cookies together, all right? How hard is that? I look over, they're decorating the cookies. The gingerbread girls now have gumdrop boobs. <laughs> I won't even say where the candy canes were. I said, great, we can't give these to the bake sale. Super Susie from Pinterest is never going to be okay with this. Women, we all know that woman. You don't like her, I don't like her either. She's the kind that my four-year-old has decided to save the planet, and we created a self-sustained recycled room with things I grew or recycled myself. Yeah, she's one of those that she did all this while training for a marathon, raising feral kittens, and homeschooling the entire neighborhood. <laughs> Secretly, I hope she's in a closet somewhere eating old candy like I do. <laughs> Thank you, I'm Kendra Karbowski, and now your mom's comedy show is going to do mom time. <laughs> Thank you, and welcome to mom time, where your mom's comedy show talks about Stuff, different <laughs> stuff. Whatever's on our mind, whatever's on your mind, we're good, we're fine. Remember, we're here keeping you sane one punchline at a time. So, who would like to start? What are we talking about? Um, well, let's talk about summer survival. Did you survive summer? Batty? Well, well Kendra, yes, yes, I did. <laughs> now we've got the names right. I did, I did survive. Um, it was rough, you know, it was having the kids home all summer. We did a lot of vacations, but yeah, it was rough. We went to Disney World. Oh, that's terrible. It was terrible. Um, <laughs> it's not, I, anybody else been to Disney World? Okay, yes. Okay, dreaming about fast passes. Fast, uh, is there a fast pass to the bathroom? Does anybody else know what a fast pass is? It's horrible. Just dreaming about fast passes. We went to Florida, I was looking for alligators and sharks and iguanas. I wanted, I wanted all the scary animals to come out. So didn't you have a fun encounter with a shark or something close to it? Oh, so with we shark? went to the beach. We went to Cocoa Beach. Um, we didn't get to go until it was about 9 o'clock at night, so it was dark. And we went to the, uh, yeah, I took my kids in the ocean in the dark. <laughs> that was their first, yes. It was like, come, children, come into the, we're looking for sharks. Uh, we went to the, uh, the store across the street, and we were like, we need towels. We're going to the beach. And she was like, you know, it's dark, right? It's like sharks feed at night. And I was like, yes, I watch Shark Week. I know what's going on. Uh, she, and I said, do you guys have a big problem, a shark problem at Cocoa Beach? She said, well, no, because like, people don't go in the water at night. Like, you're, you're an idiot. Um, Did you watch Jaws? I did watch Shaws. It's like one of those rules, like in the scary movie, you don't go swimming at night. At night, we were fine. Okay. We survived. Okay. No Good sharks. Enough. There was no sharks. We waited in the water, and there was no sharks. But yes, I dragged my children at nine o'clock at night into the dark of the beach, and was like, "Come, <laughs> come, children, let's search for sharks." That's it. That's all I have. <laughs> we went to Disney World too, actually. Kind of ironic. Um, I wasn't a big fan of the Fast Pass because you have to show up at a certain time to ride the rides, and it was like. I don't want to be on vacation and have appointments. Oh, and be structured. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. But I, I did love when my husband would take my son away for a little while because he was just, it was frustrating. He was like kicking and screaming and throwing fits and my son didn't do much better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, well, we went to Disneyland when I was a kid and, uh, I didn't realize just, you know, my dad was very economically minded, very, very cheap. Um, I didn't realize our last name wasn't Marriott until later. Because he, he kept stealing towels. Yeah, dad was cheap. I mean, there we are in New York. It's like, Statue of Liberty, dad. Can we go out? Can we go see it? No, let's go see this big ball of string. It's free. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. So, so, so uh, yeah, while we while we were in Florida, uh, we did stop by a Waffle House too. Oh. On the way home, anybody been to Waffle House? Okay, I, I was come? so I was so excited. We were coming back from and we so we were in Georgia. Um, we finally stopped at a Waffle House. I was so excited to stop at a Waffle House, like it was like making my trip. Was this Waffle House your bucket list? It was on my bucket yeah. list. Um, we stop at the Waffle House and we ate. 
um, and we were getting ready to leave and our server was you know handing us hats and she was talking to my fiance about Waffle House and he was like well we've never been to a Waffle House you know we're from Nebraska she's like oh oh okay and then he leaves and I can hear her while I'm in the bathroom and I hear her turn to the other server and she said you know they ain't never been to a Waffle House before and the other girl's like they ain't never been to a Waffle House before no girl they're from Nebraska I don't even think they have waffles in Nebraska <laughs> And I came out of the bathroom like, yes, we have waffles in Nebraska. <laughs> what are those? I went to uh, Texas and was at a Waffle House, and it was the craziest thing. We get our food, and suddenly a cockroach jumps <gasps> from one side of the table to my food. <laughs> and everyone scurries out of the booth except me because the cockroach is between me and freedom. <laughs> and so I stand up on my chair, and I, I have my bacon in my hand. I've been eating it, and I just, I'm just like, to try to kill the cockroach with my bacon. <laughs> you sacrificed your bacon? I did sacrifice oh, my bacon. Did you tell the server there that. was a cockroach? Oh, everyone saw it. <laughs> everyone saw it. They just threw a towel over it. <laughs> and we were like, my, we're going to go now. And they're just, like, yeah, it's fine. Yeah. My, uh, my Waffle House experience, I knew everything was clean because the waitress was washing her hair in the sink. So she was clean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm, I'm hungry now. <laughs> so happy I ate at a Waffle House. <laughs> so we're, we've got our, uh, well, your significant is not here. Are we going to talk about our husband's hobbies, or do you want to talk about picky eaters? Yes, we discussed it ahead of time, a little bit. <laughs> my kids are ridiculously picky. Like, they just started <laughs> drinking juice recently, and then my nutritionist friend tells me, well, juice is actually almost as bad for kids as soda. Which is fine, because that's what they were drinking for breakfast. <laughs> yeah, my, my kids are older. They're not super picky at this age, but my youngest was um, deathly afraid of anything that looked like the stuffing from like inside animal, like stuffed animals or pillows. So she wouldn't eat anything that was fluffy. Like cotton candy? Like or? cotton candy. She was deathly afraid of cotton candy. Like terrified of it because maybe she thought it was like the insides of her stuffed animals i don't know oh my god I don't what know. are the other fluffy foods patty taters <laughs> mashed potatoes <laughs> mine are very fluffy <laughs> wow, wow mine has too much butter to be that fluffy speaking of, of strange and odd things with kids my oldest son would believe anything his friends would say so like we went to have we were having dinner and there were mushrooms he's like those are poisonous and I'm like I'm your mother do you think I'd really try to kill you that way I mean <laughs> and he yeah and he was terrorized at a daycare with a hermit crab and so anything with a claw or a shell scared him like we go to Red Lobster and he like wouldn't open the door Aww. and he did not believe me when we had corned beef and cabbage he said that's lobster that's the color of lobster I'm not eating it <laughs> wow oh, it's her husbands yeah husbands husbands spouses significant others right Something and yours is here tonight and mine is too so we can make more fun no, about we can. Yeah. well mine something that really bothers me is that he'll start out really great he'll be like Betsy what can I do to make your day better <laughs> and I'm like, uh, you could wash the dishes. And he's like, oh. <laughs> I'm like, what did you think I was going to say? Like, you know what you could do to make my life better is sit in bed for six hours watching West Wing. <laughs> <laughs> I'd do that. That's what he, was, he was definitely hoping for that. Uh, were we talking about their hobbies? Sure. Um, yeah. So my fiance, um, I, I don't know if any of you have man caves, but mine has a uh, man cave. Let's see a show of hands. Who's got a man cave? Man cave. Man cave. Okay. Oh, my Chuck. Manly okay. stuff. Oh, KC does too. Okay. Um, mine has uh, hundreds upon hundreds of wrestling dolls. Um, action figures. Yeah. Don't call them wrestling dolls. <laughs> Um, he's got like the wrestling <laughs> ring. He's got a stretcher in case I get hurt. I come downstairs. He's dangling the money in the bank from the ceiling with paper clips, and he's like mad I can't sew to make him clothes. And because um, <laughs> you got all kinds of time for that. Because I do. Like, Patty, you want to go out tonight? No, sorry guys, I'm busy making a, a speedo for <laughs> Stone Cold Steve Austin. He's the only one I know. <laughs> Speedo, tiny, tiny little, little speedo. Oh my gosh, that would like fit on like a thumb or something. 
<laughs> and doesn't he occasionally ask you? To oh pick yeah. A so I he he'll be like, come downstairs and pick out who's gonna win in the fifty man battle royale. And I'm like, I don't know the bald one, like, cause they're all bald, right? <laughs> and then <laughs> and then he'll and then he'll you know readjust them or whatever. But every time I come downstairs, um, like they're in different positions, but I never actually see him move them. And so it's like, I don't know if it's like an Indian in the cupboard type of situation <laughs> or if it's like an elf on the okay. shelf or um, any little bump I hear in the night is well, like um, tiny little men. Real quick, <laughs> um, <laughs> my husband is a runner. He's one of those people that lives for endorphins. And I'm like, you know, I could just slam your hand in the cupboard, you get endorphins. <laughs> and he says, you know, I could never go up in front of people and do comedy like you do. And I said, well, I could never run past people in shorts. So. <laughs> but I believe that is all the time we have for mom time. Thank you guys so Thank much for so coming much. out tonight. Thank you. Thank you.